Thanks. Tonight, only on CBS 42, a Blount County woman is sharing her story after she was internally decapitated when her ATV crashed into a barbed wire fence. This happened on Christmas Eve of 2018. Doctors at UAB tell us this type of injury is usually fatal, but Diane Eubank believes that she was given a second chance for a reason. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner has her story of survival. Diane Eubank was in various surgeries for about 10 hours with her team of UAB doctors immediately after the accident. But those same doctors tell me that the heroic life saving efforts start in the field. This line is the internal decapitation. We're down the steps here. Diane Eubank and her husband Tommy walked with us hand in hand out to the fence that almost claimed her life. They cut these top two strands to get to her. So in her case, it was direct trauma to the neck. So she went into the barbed wire fence and then the force of the fence, you know, lifted her head off her neck. Uh, as a friend of mine likes to say, he's a spine surgeon. Uh, it's essentially like attaching a bowling ball and holding it with a string. But what Diane does remember as the ATV crashed was hoping that she died. Instead of the passenger on the ATV, a German exchange student named Jonas. You know, I think when I really opened up my life for someone else's, he gave me that second chance. You know, he sent me to UAB. Jonas didn't have a scratch on him, but doctors prepared Tommy for the fact that his wife could be a quadriplegic. I was internally decapitated all the way through. My ear was ripped off. Diane knows she was given a second chance for a reason. She wants for people to be careful on ATVs, think first and slow down, even though she doesn't remember exactly what led to her accident. I would say, God, do with me as you will. And I would sit and I would, you know, I'd be at work or do something and I, I never really impacted anybody. And now God giving me a second chance at life, I can impact somebody. Diane is still learning to walk again. She also tells me that sometimes it's difficult to even hold things. Her range of motion is also limited, but she says she's good. She's just grateful to be alive.